Hi everybody, it's Dr. Lori of Sextacular You. And if you've been watching, which thank you so much for everybody who's been watching these videos and giving me great feedback, I guess you like them. <laughs> so if you want me to keep doing them, you gotta tell me what you wanna talk about. I thought what I'd share with you today is after the big TED talk yesterday, I'm gonna share with you how I made love to life today. But for those of you that are watching, if you didn't know, I did my big TEDx talk yesterday on how orgasms make world peace possible. And if you haven't seen the videos, I don't know where you've been because they're all over. So I shared what that was like yesterday, but I thought maybe you'd wanna see what it was like the day after because you guys, I'm telling you, I am exhausted, exhausted. And it was such a super, super fun day yesterday. And uh, it, it's just, I feel so grateful and alive and vital and just elated for getting to live my dream, period. So, I, I don't even know where to start today. I'm really just that tired. So I had a bunch of really great friends that came out with me last night and that was super fun. And then I got home and I literally laid in bed and I was gonna post the picture of everybody who came out and I opened up Facebook and as soon as I hit the pillow, I was out. I woke up nine hours later, I hadn't moved, my phone was in my bed, I never plugged it in and I never posted the picture. So I was dead tired. So what I decided to do was to just live today and make love to life and walk the talk. I mean, I do anyway but I deserve it. I've worked super, super hard, as most of my family and friends know, because they haven't seen me or heard from me much in the last month or so. So I started the day in a bath because I had so much stress and energy in my body, I wanted to take that out. And I had a little bit of wine in there too, just a little bit of wine in there. Um, so I took an Epsom salt bath, that was magnificent. And then I went to restorative yoga this morning and did yoga and got my yoga on because how I make love to life is yoga, food, and sex. That's just my choice. I love yoga, I love food, and I love sex and orgasmic bliss. So I did yoga and then I went to the farmer's market and I went and got beautiful food because when it comes to food I'm gonna either eat for nourishment or I'm gonna eat for ecstasy and sometimes when I eat for ecstasy it's not good food but that's what that 80 20 rule is for really or I do kind of 90 10 rule so I went and got some really good fresh food and these really cool little things called pichu berries I'll post a picture of them on my Facebook I love these little pichu berries and salad um, and I like to eat them at night because they're really yummy and then I came home and I cleaned and I bought myself daisies because I love daisies and I wanted to celebrate myself because I'm not gonna wait for someone to buy me flowers. So I bought myself daisies because these are my most favorite flowers ever and it's because they look so happy. <laughs> They're happy flowers, and I like being happy, and I like happy flowers, and they're fun, and they're fresh, and they're happy flowers. And then I went back to the yoga studio today, and I did a, a crystal bowl meditation. So that's how I got my yoga, food, and sex on. Oh, you're probably wondering about the sex. Well, I'm gonna leave that up to your imagination, because you know I have to have a little bit of privacy, but I promise you, I get my yoga and food, sex, my yoga, food, and sex on all the time. So. It keeps me healthy, it keeps me happy, and it keeps me vital. So I don't know what you did today, but I'm gonna start inviting you to A, come see my website. My new website's up, so go to Dr. Lori Ebert, D-R-L-O-R-I-E-B-E-R-T. I have a giveaway. You can download how to be 20 easy ways to be a sextacular lover. So if you wanna be a sextacular lover and get your sex on and have rosy cheeks and have fun and live life and whatever it looks like for you, um, you can go to my website and get some of my ideas. And I want you to tell me how you're making love to life and let me know what you're doing. And by the way, look, I took all the paint off. Leah, thank you very much. I had so much fun with all that makeup on. And Megan, my hair, I don't know if I'll ever be able to comb it again, but <laughs> I just took it out of a, 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 a hair band-aid wrap. I don't even know, I can't talk, I'm too tired. But anyway, um, this is not from the sex, you guys. I know it looks like one of those poofs on the back of your head, but it's not a sex poof, I promise you. <laughs> All right, you guys, have a great week. Go out and make love to life, 
and let me know what you do and let me know what kind of videos you want, what you want me to talk about and I'll keep talking. All right, much love. Thank you for all the support, all the great feedback, all the love. I feel so, so loved and I am so grateful. So namaste to you all. Good night.